So Princeton, obviously, you got such a, a great opportunity to represent that power T on a, a big stage. How much of you, you guys cherish in this this chance to play in this game? Oh, we definitely cherish this moment. It's a huge moment for our program. Um, you know, we're ready to go out there and compete on Friday for 60 minutes and play harder than our opponent. And, uh, we're just ready. We can't wait till the game time. So we're, re- we're definitely ready. It's just a huge moment for us. Um, the the young guys, the new signees, yeah. they get a unique opportunity that I bet a, a number of you wish you could have done not only to practice, but then to come to the bull side and practice some more. What have you seen from that group so far? Um, those guys, they love to compete. Um, they're hungry. We see that as well. Um, I just love the way they came in and like, took the game serious. Um, you know, buying into the coaches. You know, we accepted them like our brothers. Um, you know, every day we're, we're talking to them, coaching them up as well as much as we can, and uh, you know, just welcoming those guys here. I, I know you don't want to get to it yet, but is coaching something that potentially is in your future, you think? Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to try my shot at the NFL, for sure. sure for sure. Uh, you know, I, I want to stay around the game, for sure. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, we just going to see where the Lord leads me uh, in the future. I meant down the road. I wasn't pushing you there. Oh, yeah, yet, yeah, so. yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. down the road, uh, we'll see how it goes. You know, just like I said before, um, just letting God lead me and show me what the direction he wants me to go. And, uh, and we'll see how it goes. The way the season's played out and how effective you've been in goal line, how you've been able to do a number of different things that sort of that tight end, H-back, fullback role in the NFL does – you think that's really helped your your draft stock potentially? I think that's definitely was a huge, you know, just going out there and showing those, you know, the, the league and uh, just what I can do, you know, mm-hmm. um, just the versatility uh, that I have as well. Uh, you know, I feel like uh, I'm in a position now that I've got to go out there and display my, you know, abilities. So, uh, but right now I'm really I'm focused on this game, and um, you know, we're getting ready for this game, and I'm gonna go out there and do whatever I can to help my team. Do you know any of those Clemson guys? Do you have any relationships with any any of those guys on the other side? Oh, I don't really know them. Uh, I knew, knew T. Higgins. You know, uh, that was a guy that I knew that went to Clemson, but uh, really nobody over there. Uh, so I know you've been asked about it that front for Clemson. Right? A lot of guys that are projected high for the draft. Few of them not playing, but what what do you see in that defense? Uh, definitely a, a great defense, uh, and they're gonna play hard. And uh, you know we want to come out there and play harder than they are for sixty minutes. Uh, you know it's, it's it's a great defense. It's a great team. Great team. Uh, it's ready to go out there and uh, Obligatory Joe Milton question. I mean, he's, he says he's the same guy. I mean, it sounds like he's the same guy. But what do you see now that he's in that QB1 role? Uh, leadership. You know, he stepped up in that role as well. Uh, he's leading the offense. Uh, he's a great leader, a great brother. Uh, you know, we all trust Joe. And, uh, you know, we're ready to go out there and compete with him any given day, any given time. And uh, I'm just happy to have him back there. He said he was... Do, he was like the DJ, like controlling the music when everybody's doing karaoke on the yeah. yacht. How did he do in that role? Uh, he, he did great in that role. You know, <laughs> Joe always keep everybody laughing. You know, he's always um, a great full of energy. And, uh, you know, it's just – that's my brother. You know, I'm not, I'm just, I just love to be out here and be able to compete with him. I'll be out here in Miami and have fun with him. So, it's been great. Are you a singer? Did you do any karaoke? Uh, I did a little karaoke. You know, my favorite uh, artist is Raw Wave. So okay. I had to play some Raw Wave and got on the karaoke and sung. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So, um, you mentioned the opportunity. You've been here a long time. So, you know it's been a long time since Tennessee's been in this kind of bowl game. How much are you guys talking amongst yourselves? Like, you know, we, we got to do this right. We can't just be here. We have to do it right and win. Yeah, just like Coach said, I mean, we came here to win. Um, we came here to compete. And, uh, you know, it means a lot to us to be able to come out here and win this game. And, uh, you know, we're going to go out there Saturday, I mean, Friday, well, Friday and uh, we're going to compete and give it everything we have. What did you think when Coach Golish got the USF head coaching position? Oh, I was happy. I was really happy for him. You know, um, it's a big it's a big role for him. And um, I'm glad he got the opportunity to, uh, you know, take the head coaching job. And, uh, you know, that's my guy right there. You know, it's, it's much love for Coach Golish, and I really appreciate it. So, obviously, he worked hands-on with you guys in the tight end room. Who's kind of stepped up in, in helping that area? Because there are some of those support guys that went with him, too. Yeah. Um, you know, just everybody's just stepping up, um, helping us as well. You know, mm-hmm. all the coaches, Coach Age as well, uh, Coach Hype as well, you know, and Mitch. Uh, big shout-out to those guys for you know, coming in and helping us as well. 
uh, keeping us focused on what we need to do in that tight end room. And uh, just me and Jay, honestly, stepping up in the tight end room as well. Uh, you know, coaching each other up as well, as much as we can, and uh, just feeding off of each other and uh, just keeping that room focused. So how much are you guys working on maybe the administration portion of it? Of Coach Gold is not involved in those play calls, which you guys are going at warp speed anyway, but now he's not part of the equation. That dynamic is a little bit different with Coach Halsley and, and Coach Heupel. Are you guys, like, getting reps at, you know, executing all that kind of stuff to make sure – you guys don't get slowed down by it at all? Uh, I don't think we're going to get slowed down by it at all. Mm -hmm. You know, we're still going to have that fast offense, and uh, we're still going to go out there and have fun and compete. Uh, you know, Coach Hazi stepped up in a, in a huge role as well, uh, you know, helping us out in the offense, helping everybody out. And uh, we really appreciate everybody that's stepping up, uh, you know, in the coaching staff. Uh, you know, but nothing's going to change out there. What about the opportunity that some of those young wide receivers have with no Hyde and no Tillman in this game? Um, it's a big opportunity for those for those young guys to step up and, uh, you know, get ready to play their first collegiate ball. Uh, you know, their preparation is important as well uh, because it's next man up in that. So uh, I'm just proud of those young guys for stepping up and, and focusing. What's the most memorable off the field outside of football thing that you've been able to, to experience so far in Miami? Uh... I would say just just saying how beautiful the city is. You know, it's my first time in Miami. Uh, you know, it's it's a, it's a great city. Uh, the warm weather, so for sure. <laughs> now, <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, earlier it was cold and rainy a little bit, but uh, you know, just the experience to be here in Miami is something special. Enjoy. Yeah, Thanks for sharing.